Today, the word sustainability is used commonly. It is something that's bandied about every day, whether it by companies, by politicians, whether it by people in general. Everybody wants to be sustainable. Everybody wants to be environmentally friendly. But exactly what does that mean? And certainly it's recognised that, of course, there are three pillars of sustainability. The environment, which is vastly important and at the moment is at the forefront of everybody's thinking. But also societal sustainability. Is the production of a, of a product or a material or a good, is it good societally? So are people being endangered or damaged or their livelihoods being damaged by the production of that product? And similarly, um, economically sustainable. So is it actually economically viable to run a business or is it economically viable to create a product? Being sustainable means many different things to many different people. To a material scientist such as myself, it might mean creating something using the least materials or creating something using the materials which do the least damage to the environment. But to a sports scientist, it might mean running a pace that is sustainable for a whole marathon. Or even to a business, it might mean working within an economic sustainability. So being able to make a product uh, at a price that means that it be able, the company will be able to make a profit. In the new Introduction to Sustainability course, we'll be able to introduce to you the three pillars of sustainability, economic, social, and environmental. We'll be able to discuss these concepts with you and also introduce you to the tools that will aid us and you to be able to assess whether the work that you're doing and the products that you're developing are economically, socially, and environmentally sustainable and of a benefit to society. The course will look at your own research and help you to reflect on whether the way that you're undertaking your research and the outcomes of your research are truly sustainable. Within the course, we will talk you through the concepts of life cycle assessment and how to assess products and services for how they affect the environment, but also a new concept of social life cycle assessment and how to assess again these services and products and how they affect society in general or in local terms. Finally, we will also have a brief dip into whole life cycle costing and whether a product is in its whole life cycle economical to produce and to use. The KES2 sustainability team and, and myself look forward to welcoming you onto the Introduction to Sustainability course very soon.